These are the best American Express credit cards in 2023, and we will start with the no annual fee cards first, then we'll move our way up to the more expensive cards from Amex. The first card on this list is the Blue Cash Everyday, and being a no annual fee card, it actually gives you a surprisingly huge amount of value. To be more specific, this card has over $250 worth of annual credits that you could use throughout the year, but more about that in a second. Let's start with the $200 welcome offer that you receive after spending $2,000 in the first six Six months of account opening. You'll receive the $200 back in the form of a statement credit. Another introductory feature that this card has is a 0% APR for the first 15 months from the date of account opening. This means both purchases and balance transfers made on the Blue Cash every day will accrue 0% interest for almost a year and a half after receiving this card. But why would someone like you want to take advantage of a no interest offer like that? Well, having an offer like this allows you to put charges on your card now and pay them over a longer period of time, which in this case is 15 months. So let's say you have an aspirational trip that you want to go on or an emergency that came up where you have to spend, let's say, $5,000. Normally, if you put that charge on a regular credit card, you have about a month to pay off that $5,000 or else you will start to accrue interest on that charge and you don't want that to happen. But in the case of the Blue Cash Everyday card, you can now pay off that charge over 15 months without accruing interest. And 10 times out of 10, it's easier to come up with $5,000 in 15 months versus $5,000 in just one month. However, please keep in mind that even with an offer like this, you should still be responsible with your spend and not bury yourself in credit card debt. Moving on to a more positive note, the Amex Blue Cash Everyday card earns you 3% back on groceries, on US online retail purchases, and on gas. All of those categories will then only earn 1% back after $6,000 in spend per calendar year. And that's a $6,000 limit per category not $6,000 amongst all three earning categories. I know a lot of you could benefit from not only a grocery card, but also a gas card as well. And this is exactly that with no annual fee. But let me explain more on the online retail category because this is quite a unique category to have on a card. You'd be surprised to know that even Amazon and Walmart purchases will count for the 3% cash back. I think even Target counts as well, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Here's a very broad list of the other types of stores that will trigger this category. Not too many cards that you earn bonus points on Amazon, Walmart, and potentially Target all year round. The only catch is that the purchases must be made on a website or or through an app. But to receive your 3% cash back, you could just order your things online and pick it up in store. Problem solved. With this card, your cash back is received in the form of reward dollars that could be redeemed as a statement credit. It's a great, simple approach where you don't have to worry about transferring your points to travel partners or anything like that. Then the last two great things about the Amex Blue Cash Everyday card comes in the form of two different credits. First is a $7 monthly statement credit after you spend $12.99 or more each month to the Disney bundle. Throughout the year, that's a total of potentially $84 that you would save there. And the second credit is $15 per month in statement credits when you purchase a Home Chef product, which results in $180 of credits in the year. Both of these credits are only really usable if you already use those services or planned on using them in the future. So if you don't use them, these credits are honestly no value to you. But there's still no annual fee to justify, so it's okay if you don't use these credits. It already has great multipliers that you could actually use. An even simpler Amex credit card with no annual fee is the Amex Blue Business Plus card. This is the first business card on the list and yes no matter who you are, you can get a business card without owning a business. I won't go into the details of doing that in this video, but if you are interested in unlocking the power of business cards like this one, you can watch the video I made about that there. Now to get straight to the point, the Blue Business Plus card is really only good for one thing. It's 2X multiplier. This card will earn 2X points on every purchase up to $50,000 of spend per calendar year. Because of this reward category, the Blue Business Plus also happens to be one of the three cards in the Amex trifecta. So if you're looking to maximize the amount of Amex points you earn, you will want to get this credit card. And when I say this card earns Amex points, I mean it earns Amex membership reward points. This is not like the cash back that you earn on the Blue Cash Everyday card that we just went over. Part of the strength of this card is that it earns you the same full-blown Amex points that other, more expensive Amex cards earn as well. With these points, you could transfer them to travel partners, use it for cash back, use it for travel, etc., etc. The Blue Business Plus also has an intro 0% APR for the first 12 months and for 
some strange reason, it currently does not have a welcome offer besides that. So I wouldn't recommend getting this card quite yet because usually there is a welcome offer of around 15,000 MR points after spending $3,000 in the first three months or so. At least that's the offer that I received recently when I applied for this card within the past month or so, which I also made a step-by-step -step video where you could watch me apply. Just to be thorough, there is a cashback version of this card called the Amex Blue Business Cash. These cards are pretty much identical except the Blue Business Plus earns Amex points while the Blue Business Cash strictly earns cash back. And speaking of cash back, we have our first annual fee Amex credit card on this list, which is the Amex Blue Cash Preferred card. This card is very similar to the Blue Cash Everyday card, as you'll see in a second. However, a major difference is that the Blue Cash Preferred has no annual fee for the first year, but a $95 annual fee for every year after. But with that elevated annual fee, you're also receiving elevated reward categories. With this card, you'll earn 6% on groceries on up to $6,000 in purchases per calendar year, 6% on streaming services, 3% on transit, including taxis, ride shares, parking, tolls, trains, buses, and then 3% on gas. To compare the two cards, I like to think of the no annual fee Blue Cash every day as the free trial version and the $95 annual fee Blue Cash preferred as the paid like pro version. That's because the Blue Cash every day has solid multipliers and it's free. But if you want to unlock more rewards and more reward categories, then you gotta pay to play. The Blue Cash Preferred is another Amex cashback card, which means you'll be redeeming your reward dollars for statement credit. However, I know cashback enthusiasts love to run this card in their setups because the multipliers are so good. And along with those multipliers, you get another annual $84 Disney bundle credit like how we saw on the Amex Blue Cash every day. You will also receive an annual $120 Equinox Plus credit broken down to $10 a month. Not sure how many of you would use that Equinox credit, but I wanted to clarify that it's only for the Equinox Plus Fitness App membership. This $120 credit is not for the actual Equinox in-person gym membership. Right now, the Amex Blue Cash Preferred will give you $250 back after you spend $3,000 on purchases and your new card within six months of account opening. Okay, that was the last cashback card on this list, and now we're moving on to the more exciting part of the video. These next few cards are some of my favorite cards of all time, not just within the Amex world, but favorite cards within all cards on the market. The first of those favorite cards is the $250 annual fee Amex Gold card. Despite the high annual fee, the Amex Gold card gives you up to $240 of credits every year. One of those credits is a $120 dining credit broken down into $10 every month. This credit can be used at Grubhub, the Cheesecake Factory, Gold Belly, Wine.com, Milk Bar, and select Shake Shack locations. All you need to do to use this credit is to make a charge at any of those eligible locations and you'll receive this $10 statement credit after a few business days. A quick tip is to try to use this credit earlier in the month as opposed to later in the month because you want to make sure the transaction posts in the month you are trying to use it. The other credit is an annual $120 Uber credit that will hit your Uber account every month in $10 increments. To use this credit, you must create an Uber account and simply add your gold card to that account. The Uber Cash can then be used on Uber Rides or even Uber Eats. And another quick tip tip for the Uber credit or if you use the dining credit on Grubhub is to order your food for pickup as opposed to delivery. That way you will save money on the delivery fee, tip, and other fees. Both the dining credit and Uber cash credit are use it or lose it benefits, so be sure to use it every month. However, if you use both credits to its entirety, you could bring down the effective annual fee of this card to just $10 a year. Although I will say the value of your credits is a controversial topic because through apps like Grubhub and Uber Eats, you are paying more for the same food as opposed to if you order it directly. For example, a random chicken sandwich might be $12 on Uber Eats, but $10 if you order it directly from the same restaurant. But either way, you want to use both of these credits as much as possible or else the Amex Gold Card is not going to be worth it for you. So if you live in a small town without Uber or any of the dining credit restaurants, then I suggest getting a card like the Capital One Saver one instead. The Amex Gold's credits are just as important as the reward multipliers that come with this card as well. With the Amex Gold, you'll earn 4X on groceries on up to $25,000 in purchases per year, 4X at restaurants, and 3X on flights booked through Amex Travel or booked directly through the airlines. Still, till this day, the Amex Gold is one of the few, if not 
only cards with such high reward multipliers on both restaurant and grocery spend. With a card like this, do you fall in love with the reward multipliers, the credits that it gives you, or both? Right now, you can earn 60,000 points after spending $4,000 within the first six months of opening this card. That's $600 of free travel if you use those points via the Amex Travel Portal. Personally, I think the Amex Gold Card is still the most used credit card in my wallet. Of course, I only use it for food purchases, but it still racks me up a decent amount of points every month. But again, although this is an American Express video, I would highly suggest looking at the Capital One Saver One card if you want an amazing food credit card with no annual fee. Also, if you want to look at any of the cards mentioned in this video, or if you're looking to apply for a new credit card, please take a look at the affiliate links I have in the description. If you use any of those links, it does support me and my channel, and I want to thank you so much in advance. However, please check to make sure you are getting the best sign up bonus available because sometimes my links don't have the highest offer that you could get at the time. Enough about food, let's talk about hotels and travel. And I talked highly about the Amex Gold card, but this next card I think is the most valuable hotel credit card Card out there right now. It is the $450 Amex Hilton Aspire credit card that will guarantee to elevate your next hotel experience as long as you stay at Hilton's. I'm gonna start with the reward multipliers here because although they may sound cool, the benefits and credits that you get from the Aspire card are even cooler. The Amex Aspire card will earn you 14X on Hilton purchases, 7X on flights, car rentals, and dining, and then 3X on everything else. Also, please remember that this card earns you Hilton points, not Amex points. Like I mentioned earlier, the reward multipliers are great, but wait until you hear the benefits and credits that come with the Aspire card. First, you receive a $250 Hilton Resort credit that you can use every anniversary year at eligible Hilton Resorts. Yes, this credit even covers the room charge at those resorts. In addition, you'll also receive a $250 airline incidental fee credit every calendar year. And right there, those credits alone will cover more than your annual fee. But okay, let's say you want even more value from this credit card. Well, does a free annual night award certificate that could be used at virtually any Hilton sound okay to you? Or what about a fast track to Hilton's highest loyalty status available with complimentary Hilton diamond status? You'll even receive a priority pass membership and receive a $100 credit at Waldorf Astoria and Conrad Hotels when you book a two night minimum stay with your card at HiltonHonorsAspireCard.com. That was a long sentence. With all of its benefits and credits, I know you could receive more than $450 in value every year from the Aspire card. And right now, there is no other hotel credit card out there that comes even close to serving this much value in one card. I've used this card in Japan and loved the diamond status benefits that I received there, such as free breakfast and executive lounge access. Fortunately, we did not get a free upgrade because to be fair, it was during New Year's, so the hotel was pretty booked. Regardless, the card gave me some value anyway on that trip. I also just recently used the free night award to book a stay at the Waldorf Astoria for Luke's Points and Miles meetup in Las Vegas. That room alone goes for over $500 the last time I checked, and I'm getting it for free. The Amex Hilton Aspire has a current welcome offer of 150,000 Hilton points after spending $4,000 in the first three months of account opening. Hilton points are valued around 0.5 cents per point, so that welcome offer can give you around $750 worth of value. That's like two to four nights of free stays, depending on which Hilton you stay at. Yes, I understand that the $450 annual fee is a steep price tag, but if you stay at Hilton's enough to use its benefits and credits, then I think this card is a no-brainer. And another no-brainer credit card for any travel enthusiast is the Amex Platinum card. Arguably, this is American Express's flagship credit card. For me, this was my dream credit card growing up. I used to work at Abercrombie & Fitch and the Apple Store, and whenever someone paid using one of those cards, I always thought, wow, this is such a cool card. But now that I think about it, I don't know why they were using that card since it would only earn 1x points on those purchases. Hopefully, of course, that you know they were using the Platinum card for some other reason besides for just the reward multiplier. Anyway, let me show you why the Amex Platinum card is so amazing. Number one, when you're traveling at the airport and you want something to eat, how much do you usually spend on food? $10? maybe even $20 on a simple Whopper meal at Burger King. And if you want a beer or pre-flight shot, 
how much is that going to be? At least another $10. However, by owning the Platinum card, you gain access to over 1,000 airport lounges across the world that can give you not only free food and alcohol, but also a place to sleep, a place to shower, or maybe just a place to relax and charge your laptop. The Platinum card also lets you fly through security with free global entry or TSA pre-check and a free Clear membership. Well, what's the difference between PreCheck and Clear? Well, TSA PreCheck is something you might be familiar with, which basically gets you in front of non-PreCheck people, right? And then Clear basically puts you in front of all of the PreCheck people. It's the TSA PreCheck for TSA PreCheck, I guess. Then on top of that, you get a long list of annual credits every year. There's a $200 airline incidental fee credit for things like seat changes, check luggage, or in-flight snacks. A $200 hotel credit for eligible hotels booked through Amex Travel. A $155 Walmart Plus credit. A $240 entertainment credit for Audible, Disney Plus, the Disney Bundle, ESPN Plus, Hulu, Peacock, SiriusXM, and the New York Times subscriptions. $200 of Uber Cash credit, $300 Equinox credit, and a $100 sack credit. The Amex Platinum also gives you automatic Hilton and Marriott Gold status, which to be honest, isn't going to really do much, but it's better than having nothing. It also gives you elite status at the main rental car companies. It's just a shame though that for some reason the Amex Platinum card has secondary car rental coverage and not primary car rental coverage. This premium travel credit card gives you so many opportunities to justify that $695 annual fee. Again, this card is definitely not made for everyone. There are much cheaper travel cards out there. However, if you fit within the target demographic for this credit card, I promise you, you will love it. However, you will not love the current welcome offer because you're only gonna get 80,000 points when ideally you should be getting around 100,000 points for this signup bonus. Or you can even check the Resi website for another signup bonus offer for this card. And even the Amex Gold card has another juicy signup bonus through Resi. Overall, the Amex Platinum card is the best premium travel card that you could get. I almost forgot to mention that the Amex Platinum earns 5X on prepaid hotels booked on AmexTravel.com and 5X on flights booked directly with the airlines or through the Amex Travel portal. I hope at least one of these Amex credit cards fits your lifestyle and spending habits. And you can take an inside look of the current credit cards that I'm using right now by watching this What's In My Wallet video. As you'll see for yourself, I use a lot of Amex credit cards right now. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Shoots.